Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan right in the middle. <laughs> well, I'm not putting a damn Asari statue up here if that's what you want. Don't be a fool. They were honoring our fight against the Ratner. Maybe they could have honored us by not bombing us with the Genophage. The Citadel has these huge arms, and millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? You gonna leave the Chunker? Run off with the damn blood pack mercs? No. no. Then shut up and quit yammering about what you'll never see. I'll tear you apart! You don't have the plates to try. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. Don't crowd the ambassador. Eyes straight ahead. Go away, alien. I talk to no one about our rights unless my clan leader wills it. Give me a reason. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Don't crowd the ambassador. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan, Ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the Ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in Akratic Wastes. If Nakmor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. I've had enough of you. Then let's uh, say so you're happier in this camp, where the power doesn't work half the time, and Pyjox and Varen and other clans are always trying to kill us? Yes. And you know why? Because I don't look at that damned extra net. Who cares what human colonies are getting attacked? Who cares who's declaring war? This camp, these rocks, this is all we're ever gonna see. This is we. So is the sun. Stare at either of them for too long. Go blind. Put down some real money. Watch it, human. <laughs> Eyes straight ahead. Around when the female camps and the children overlast. No, 
I was off dealing with a Baron attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. Stay. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Why did you call the pie jacks off world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elitania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off his ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. Hmm. I can't imagine you let him walk away after that. Not a chance. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jock population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an erdnaught. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. I should go. Suit yourself. One of the children, probably five years from the right. Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. A son? Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. Give me a reason. Let's see what the human can do.
Step back. My Varen is hungry. Child. My son. I played tackle the Varen. It was... It was good. Fast. Strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. It was so fast. I didn't get to talk with him. I lost half my stock in a bed on the pits. And it was the good half. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. But help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the politics? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. But I could teach him to hunt. The, the best way to shoot a gun. To fight with honor and savagery. Eh, you can do that next time they bring the children home. It's not the same. One wrong step, Shepard. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. So, you're in charge of Erdnot's scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide-and-seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, the clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Solarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. 
Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the blood pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it, one of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics, totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Guld. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members. Like Vorcha. Ha! Huh, the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Thanks for the information. Anything that gets rid of the damn off-worlders. You can take the truck over there. You need anything else? Talk to you later. One more win in the pits, and I'm retiring. Place your bet on the pits, you... Don't touch anything. Are you threatening me? Things would last longer if they didn't hit every crater. Krogan's hit by genophage, nuclear assaults, civil wars. Still survive. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Fortak, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot, and I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, I know someone understands. I swear I am among brainless pijacks here, toiling among satins. I am the Lord High Researcher. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. 
Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. It sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Always want more shock absorption. Those babies. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I can find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of Rinkol. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. I'm going out into the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. The pits have been a bloodbath ever since Ursa's handler was exiled. 